Hey everybody and welcome to Crossways membership class. Um, this is Kirk here and I have with me Dan. Hi. Um, and this uh, class online here is meant to uh, pr provide maybe you're attending our membership class and you've missed a week. Um, this is a way that you can kind of catch up on some of the material and stay with us or you know maybe if you're a member at Crossway and you just want to review some of this material it's here for you. Um, so we have in front of us our membership document, a PDF of that. Um, we're recording this video, these series of videos in October of 2020. So just be aware of that. If you're watching this at a later date, there's always a chance that some of the material um, in these videos will have been updated or will have changed given different season of life our church is in. Um, so you can always be sure to email one of the pastors and one of the elders and get a, the most recent um, up-to-date version of the document and compare any notes um, with what we're presenting here. Um, but as we approach sort of what is this class all about, um, specifically as this class is um, aimed for those who are seeking to become members or are exploring what it would be uh, to become a member of Crossway, as you, as you see there, our purpose together in this class is to give a picture of Crossway, to help you understand who we are as a church, um, what we believe, what what guides our practices. Also, um, it's an opportunity for us to get to know one another, obviously not through these videos per se, but if you're attending in person other weeks, it, this just creates an opportunity for you to get to know us and us to get to know you. And then we also want to help you discern if Crossway is the local church that God would have you uh, join as a full functioning member. Um, and so we're not working from the assumption that, you know, if you're a believer, um, the question for us isn't, um, are you to join a local church? Like we're assuming that um, believers should be joining a local church um, and participating in that way. But we want to help you discern if Crossway specifically is the church that God would have you to join. And we really do believe that. If if for some reason Crossway is not the the a place that would be suitable for you to join, then we genuinely would want to see you join another church. We want to see you a part, um, a full functioning member of a local church, and we just want to help you understand if that if our church is the church um, for you to join. And so during our time, anything you'd add to that, Dan? No, that's good. Any, uh, during our time together, um, as you see in our table of contents here, um, we're going to talk about why join a local church, what God's vision and view of the local church is. Then we're going to talk more specifically about our church, like why you would join this church, looking at our purpose, why we exist as a church, our pursuits, what cultivates health in a church, we're going to talk about what we believe, our statement of faith, um, other matters about understanding just the makeup of our church and our ministries and how we conduct life as a church. And then we're going to look at what is expected of members with our church covenant and finally conclude with the next steps in becoming a member. Um, and so we prefer uh, that, that you would only miss one of these classes in person. Obviously, there are some exceptions, but these videos then are obviously here partly so that you can catch up. Um, we always want to say, too, um, feel free to ask us any questions. So as you're watching these videos, for, ex for example, if you come across anything that strikes you as, hey, I wonder what that's all about, or I'm not sure I understood that, make a note, email us, text us, um, reach out to us. We'd love to answer your questions. We don't want you to go through with any of those unanswered questions. Um, all right, so at this point, we'll skip the questions for each participant since we're on video here. But at this point, um, Dan, can you go ahead and just bring us up to speed and provide our listeners with some background on uh, the, on our church, sure. um, where we've come from? Yeah, so Crossway Community Church of Milwaukee was a church plant from a church in Kenosha called Crossway Community Church. Uh, that was back in 2008. A number of, I forget how many families actually were a part of the original plant. Uh, some of those families were able to move up to the city. Uh, and some were not able to move at the time, and they ended up transitioning back. I think all of them went back to Crossway uh, in Kenosha, I believe. I can't remember exactly, but uh, we were not part of the original. You uh, as in your family. Yeah, our family. So our family intersects with Crossway story still in 2008. Uh, the plant was in February. We moved here in June uh, or July of 2008. Uh, we were up here we're just planning to be here for a short time. I took a job in the city at the Milwaukee Rescue Mission. Uh, we heard of Crossway before we moved up, and we were planning already to be be here, be members right away when we came up. Uh, so we've been here ever since. 
Uh, we loved the church, loved the community right away, agreed with the philosophy of ministry. It really uh, had a vision to care for the, the city and see the gospel spread throughout the city, the gospel centrality. Uh, so it really held to a lot of the things that they uh, were promoting and the community. And so we found a good home here in 2010. Uh, we were still in the city. We weren't planning to be here that long, but uh, God uh, stationed us here and uh, Crossway asked me to come on staff in February 2010. Uh, so I've been here ever since as uh, one of the pastors. Um, you know, a lot, a lot of the original folks have since moved. We live in a, one of the major cities of uh, the nation. And like so the founding it's, members. Yep. So there's, you know, it's, it's a transient city, not as, tra not as transient as say like a Chicago, but nonetheless transient. And, uh, so a lot of those members have moved on, but a couple are, are still here and, uh, are, have been here longer than myself. Uh, then why don't you tell your part of the story? Cause eventually you intersect with uh, Crossway story as well. Yeah, sure. So the year that I came to Crossway would have been, uh, 2000 Easter of 2018 I think um, if I'm getting that right um, so yeah so I was uh, a part of a church on the north side and came to the south side of Milwaukee to plant uh, South City Church and about two years in um, we're, we planted pretty close to where Crossway was about you know like five ten minutes um, maybe more like five five minutes or so like south of where Crossway was meeting at the time and just had a really similar, I mean, our philosophy of ministry, um, just the way that it matched up with Crossways was just uncanny because there are some, um, just some values that we have that are not necessarily things that you find everywhere. And so just the match was, the, the, the harmony between the two churches was strong and our beliefs were the same. And so just through some conversations with Dan, um, about two years into our church plant, um, we decided to merge with Crossway. Uh, it, would just, it was a decision that made sense for both the churches, um, just uh, the place where Crossway was, and it, we were able to, the merge was able to kind of bring some energy to Crossway, and then for, the, for the, those coming from the church plant to just be able to join a larger group, um, a, a larger church with more resources was helpful as well. And so, yeah, God really used the merge in, in really helpful ways um, to just stabilize and strengthen Crossway, and we've just seen a lot of fruit out of it. And so I obviously then came with the merge um, and was a part of the church since the merge in Easter of 2018. Eventually, um, I was bivocational during that time, and so eventually came on staff with Crossway in November of 2018 and have been on staff um, since that time. Um, yeah, so I live on the south side as well. Um, not originally from here. I'm originally from northern Wisconsin in Marinette, um, but came down to this area basically for like school and went to Trinity. Uh, Dan went to school at Moody, if he didn't mention that. And I went to school at Trinity, so I was in kind of the Chicago area and have kind of orbited, orbited in the, the Milwaukee area since pretty much I was 18. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, and then uh, maybe one other piece of information uh, is that we've... Uh, still, at this point in uh, October of 2020, we've always been a uh, uh, mobile church where we've always rented space. Uh, there goes your clock. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we started out at Pulaski High School, which is 27th in Oklahoma on the south side, right by uh, St. Luke's Hospital. Uh, what's that custard place? Cops. Leon's. Or not Leon's, Leon's custard. Yeah. Uh, then we were there for a number of years and then moved to uh, St. Joseph's. Academy, which was on 16th in Oklahoma, and more recently in January of 2020, we moved to Alvernal College, uh, one of the th uh, theaters there. Uh, and at this point, we've always been a mobile church. Uh, real estate is quite expensive in the city, and uh, you know, perhaps one day we would own a building property where we'd gather on Sunday mornings, but yeah, not right now. Yep. So we'll see. Uh, maybe if you're watching this years from now, who knows where we'll be? Yeah. But yeah. All right, well, with that, um, in the next video, we will start to look at why join a church.